and welcome my lovely it is Tori the hope dealer and thank you for tuning into my channel guided intuition I am sending you guys so much light so much love Taurus <laughs> this is going to be your monthly spiritual message from spirit what they want you to know focus on in the month of May um, usually how it works is I go over what is crowning you in the month of May right here towards the left. Everything spirit wants you to know about, um, love for the month of May. Then right over here on the right is just a general area. It can be work, finances, love, whatever spirit, um, wants you to know that can ultimately bring you the most, um, bring you fulfillment in the month of May that they want you to focus on. And then right here is just the word, just some words of encouragement that um, spirit wants you to keep at the forefront of your mind in the month of May. However, Taurus, I can see it already from shuffling the cards, from um, tapping into your energy. This is going to be a total love um, reading, love like God over in the general area too. Um, however, before we start and even get into that, um, any information concerning me or my channel, you can find in the description box. Guys, please do not be afraid to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> um, yeah, if you want to reach me to um, schedule a personal reading, you can email me at guidedintuition18 at gmail.com. Um, yes, so I think I just hit all the basics. Um, Taurus, one thing, when I was shuffling your cards just staging and you know again preparing myself to do this reading um one of the things that kept um trying to come out the cards multiple times when i was shuffling was um a message that i'm just getting for spirit is to tell you um to understand it's going to take patience but new beginnings are coming some of you have already experienced new beginnings um but for the ones who haven't, just understand that it just takes patience, patience that new beginnings are coming. Okay, lovely? So yeah, just be patient. Hang in there. Understand that it takes time. I'm trying to zoom this in a little bit, guys. Um, but new beginnings, you know, they're coming. New beginnings are on the horizon. It just takes time. And spirit just really wants you to grab that, you know, and understand that. Oh, what is that on my table? Goodness. I know what it is. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Look at me getting distracted. But yes, yeah, spirit um, definitely wants you guys to know that. Um, Taurus, even being in this energy, <laughs> I don't know who um, this is for, but even being in this energy, I'm just like lovey-dovey, goosey-goosey. Month, the May of month is going to be a very significant for you concerning love, beginning, middle, end. When you meet this individual, or if you if you already met them, May is going to be a really um, significant month for you guys. It could be maybe that's when you guys really made it serious. I don't know, maybe some proposals. I don't know in the sense of really May is found. This is where the foundation like really was made solid. However, May is very. Um, May is very significant for you guys. So we're just going to go ahead and before I jump into this, understand it might not resonate with everybody. However, there are so many talented individuals sharing their gifts. You are bound to find someone on social media that is going to pick up your energy. Okay, so don't worry, guys. And I just honestly want to thank you guys for, <laughs> um, you know, um, clicking on this my channel and really help letting me help you on your journey through life so I'm just solely excited and it's crazy because I find myself picking up the energies and towards this is just a real cool really relaxed in your flow you know yeah like I find myself like second guess I'm like okay I need to pick up my energy however I'm just flowing and I guess that's what you guys are doing so let's just get into this so what's crowning you in the month of May Taurus, okay, <laughs> um, what's crowning you basically at the forefront of your mind is um, 
vulnerability. And again, like I said, this is a love reading. So you're really focusing on opening up and showing this individual um, who you are and what you're about. And it's going to require you to be vulnerable. And maybe I'm feeling that I was a, that's a struggle for some of you guys. Um, however, this person is good intentions. You don't have to worry about that, guys. Like, this person is going to um, appreciate um, you. And then we have, um, you know, again, you guys are, new beginnings are starting. And, um, you know, you're eager with, you know, how it's how it's going. Um, you're, you know, just probably in your head a little, you know, and not even in a bad way, but just like, oh my God, what's next? What's going to happen next? Where are we going next? What's going on? Oh my God, just think about me. I'm thinking about him. Whatever she, he, you know, um, but spiritually wants to understand, um, you are shape shifting your desire. You don't have to, you know, even let those little jitters bother you. For some of you, I'm seeing to just, just understand it's going to be, um, patience. You're going to take patience. Just pace yourself, you know, <laughs> Um, because you're really focused on action and, 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 you know, um, pouring it all out. And this person, like I said, it's not going to do any, it's not going to do anything bad, but you know, spirit just wants you to, uh, have some patience. Um, just pace yourself as you, you know, be vulnerable and show yourself, just pace yourself, you know, let it flow naturally. Um, also, for you, um, you guys who are single, this is this is um, someone who is possibly coming in, and spirit just wants to give you the heads up um, of this person. But this person is amazing. This person is incredible. <laughs> whoever um, you guys are, whoever this individual is, you guys are going to mesh well together. Um, you've been shape shifting and creating this person knowingly or unknowingly by you know. Um, affirmating say you know looking at a couple and you know wishing you had that and you don't have any ill will feelings toward that you've been manifesting this in affirmations and visualizations and just yeah so that's what's crowning you in the month of may concerning love you know you're you are eager to be open i don't feel like you're shutting down you're eager to be open you're you want to be hasty and take action and just like fall into it and, um, you know, create this magical relationship, unionship that you want. And you already have that. So you can, you know, pace yourself a little bit. For some of you, I'm just hearing just pace yourself. Okay, so um, what's the message that Spirit has for Taurus about love for the month of May? Okay, this is right here. Told you guys. I know y'all see that card. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go over these. Um, yeah, the chemistry, like I said, Taurus, this is individual is amazing. Your, your chemistry is just, you guys have balance together. You know, there are strong magnetic attractions here. Um, you guys really can't help the way that you feel. It, you just feel like you've known this person your whole life, though you probably, for some of you, you only know them, you know, it's new. It's, it's new. It's a new, it's a new thing, you know, or some, you guys rekindled something, but it just feels new and the chemistry is um, right on. Here it is. Why? It's because this is a past um, past life relationship. You've known um, each other before. So this could be someone you reconnected with that, you know, you guys were, for some of you, I'm feeling like there was no ill will or no drama left. But, you know, it, for whatever reason, it didn't work out. But now it is, you know. Um, and maybe you're feeling a little insecure about that. All you need to do is just have a heart to heart conversation with this um, person. Just be honest, you know, with them, because I'm feeling some of you are insecure because, you, well, you know, you know that it didn't work out last time. It wasn't anything betrayal, anything like cheating or anything that happened. However, it just didn't work. It's just because they had some karmatic lessons that they were going through and you had some that you had to learn in order for you guys to come together and create this um, unionship. OK, so just have a conversation about that. Um, because see, okay. <laughs> yeah. Because, um, they're, they, you know, they're really into you and you're really into them because you're an amazing person. You have the queen of arrows, the swan. And, um, this to me, I just feel like you just really grew into who you, life will always growing. We're always going to get to the next level, but you, you've really arrived in yourself and, um, in your abilities, 
Um, however, there is a little bit of insecurity um, for some of you lingering. It's like in the background, but it's, it's still those that something that's nagging you. Um, I just want to, Spirit just wants to let you know that you have come a, a long way. Though, you know, you're, that's not you anymore. You've shed that skin. You, you know, you, you've, you've became into a beautiful swan, you know, um, you have really grew into yourself. So you don't have to worry about those past insecurities. That's not who you are anymore. You know, this individual, like I told you, you have the queen of vessel, um, the queen of vessels, and this individual is like a fish out of water. They are, um, you know, he's, he or she is romantic. I mean, they're everything that you've ever like wanted in a partner. Okay. Um, and ultimately your unionship is ecstasy. So you just need to, when this happens, even those little things that try to come in your mind, just remember who you are now. Your past does not define who you are. It's in the moment. That is already gone. This is where we're focusing on right now. You understand me? So um, ultimately, this relationship, this unionship is balanced. You know, you're giving, they're giving. You know, it's it's a give and give, not a give and a take. It's a give and a give. This this is ultimately a, a beautiful unionship. You know, even with those little, ins that little insecurity, look what, look. Look at all you have, even with that little insecurity. Look at the odds. The odds are in your favor. So you just let that, you know, just let that go. And psh, Taurus, y'all good to go. And even in, um, now this is going to be, we're going to go over here. And this talks about what um, you need to know, Taurus. What you need to focus on, Taurus, in the month of May, that can ultimately bring you fulfillment, okay? Oh, my God. Can't pick these cards up, guys. <laughs> so sorry. I'm, like, so chill. This is creepy. Like, oh, my God. Like, but I'm I'm in y'all energy, and it's just so chill. Okay. So, um, again, let that insecurity go. And if you heard me pause, because I was trying to, you know, Get the message of spirit was trying to tell me. So how you're going to let go of that insecurity is really tap, tapping into your shame man. Really um, going spiritual. Um, you might want to try a, uh, um, what is that? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? A Reiki healing. Um, there's meditations all on YouTube for that. It's 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 countless. You, you'll be able to find that. But yeah, really um, tapping into your, uh, your higher self playing um affirmation there's a there's a jason something he has this where this affirmation is called i am beautiful go put it in there jason i am beautiful affirmation you're is going to come up and it just talks he just talks with you and he just gives you these things to say you know i am confident i am beautiful you just want to say affirmations to yourself and really channel um channel who you are because you that person is dead you don't have to look at the old you anymore because that's not who you are you're not going to make those same mistakes that you did in the past loves because that's not who you are and you can go full throttle in this relationship because you have the polar star you have learned from those past mistakes and those relationships that's you get what i'm saying like it helped you grow it helped you wisen up you know like i said also you have the nine of bows why is all this happening you can trust yourself because you respect yourself now. You know, if something is, doesn't feel right to you, there's no more, you know, letting people, you know, do whatever to you. You respect yourself. You take um, care of yourself. You guard yourself. You know, you went through a appearance of endurance. However, you come out of that appearance. Um, You've come out of that. And like that, you have the five of arrows. You went through something hard. However, that resting time is, you know, done. And if it's not, for some of you, I'm feeling that maybe this is what you're going through now. Keep going. And eventually it's going to get, you're going to merge into the beautiful butterfly you were destined to be. You're in the cocoon. You're resting. You're healing. You're getting over there. You're enduring this, these, um, this situation, what you just went through. So, when this next love comes in, which is the real deal, which is a reflection of you, which is going to give you everything that you put in, it's going to mirror you, you'll know how to receive it. 
you know, look at that. The forest lovers, because this, this is the ultimate relationship. So spirit just wants you, for some of you, just to get yourself together and release whatever it is you, you know, in that old get out of that old fog and that those old insecurities. So you'll be able to receive this union ship that is a mirror of you coming in. And for some of you that already have it, understand that this is the real deal. Go forth full throttle. <laughs> you know, um, this is someone that you can open up to that's going to love you. Um, again, like I said, some of you, I'm seeing pace yourself. But some of you, I'm seeing, no, don't pace yourself. You just need to go because you've paced yourself long enough. Like, it, it's time for you to act, you know, on it. You don't need to, you know, just go in there, okay? And for what is um, the word that Spirit wants you to keep, Taurus, on the forefront of your mind in the month of May is wholeness. You have wholeness. You're whole, baby. You're not that same individual that you were. You have done the work. You are doing the work. You've done the work to get where you are now. You're constantly doing the work. You're loving yourself. You 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 realize your worth. You accept yourself. You're evolving and growing spiritually. You don't have to, you know, carry around that insecurity or look back at the past because that's not you anymore. That's not you. You're whole. You have wholeness. And that's why you have this chance for this beautiful relationship. And why it looks so good is because this is who you are. This is the law of attraction. You get what you, you know, it must mirror you. So this is who you truly are. You're balanced. You're happy. You're empowered. You know who you are. You're tapped into tapped in, turned on. You might, and you know, it's funny I said that because you might want to start listening to Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks, it's, it's, um, the vortex, you know, law of attraction is really big for some of someone. Law of attraction is big for you. That was random. I mean, I listened to it, but that was random. I usually don't say that in reading, but yeah. So you might want to like look in them, whoever that's meant to resonate, you'll, you'll get what I'm saying. So yeah, understand your whole, allow this beautiful love to come in, be vulnerable, understand your shape shifting, again, law of attraction, <laughs> and your whole, you have wholeness. So I'm so proud of you, Taurus, for doing the work because I went through a period because I'm a um, Sagittarius and, you know, Saturn just got up on our shit. So it was really a time for me really like going in and doing the work. So I applaud you baby for actually doing that because ah, it's easier said than done but you guys you guys really did that you know you you, you really you you really have doing that and if you haven't I'm not feeling it but just if you haven't definitely on the right road understand it's going to take time be patient with yourself it's going to call for you to be vulnerable but the outcome and what you're going to get wholeness love balance is well worth it. So as always, I am sending my babies so much love, so much light, and so much peace. Um, don't forget to do all those lovely things. Like, subscribe. Uh, what's the other one? I can't remember. <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. So until the next video, adios.